Hello and welcome back to Cause 3D. And today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. We're gonna repair a helmet. The question always becomes, when you have a small fail in a print, is it worth repairing or do you just reprint the whole thing? Well, in this case, I've got an interesting one. I was playing with some supports on this helmet to try to make it better and my supports were simply too thick on the interior of the helmet. So when I ripped them out, I got in a hurry and lo and behold, I cracked the helmet and I cracked it pretty good. So let's talk about repairing this thing and see if it's worth it. Let's get to it. Now, this is a pretty substantial crack here and normally I'm not sure that I would attempt to save this, but this helmet I actually printed for myself that I was gonna use in a project and instead of wasting some filament, I thought we could repair this relatively easy and get this, get this back even better than it was. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use some super glue. Now I'm not looking to repair it with the super glue. I just need it to actually bond and hold. So we're gonna open it up just a bit. We're gonna drop some glue in there as best we can. This might get a little sloppy even, but I just need it to grab so that I don't have to sit here and hold it together the whole time. So we got a pretty good bond here on that. Now that's not very strong and you can probably see in the upper camera that it is still separating ever so slightly. So we wanna definitely get this taken care of here quickly. So this is a plastic welder. The way this works is it comes with these, with all of these metal pieces that you simply stick into the end of the gun. You press the button, it heats up the tip, and then you press it into the plastic. And it's usually used for automotive stuff. And I'm gonna drop a link in the description for this where you can get one. And I'm get, I've decided that I do want one right here on the outer face because that's where that crack starts. And I might try to slip one, I'm gonna slip one in right here where this ear cap will end up getting covered anyway. Back here, I'm actually gonna go on the interior and drop one in. So we're just gonna use three of these. We don't need to overdo it. So let's just warm this up. Find a good way to hold it. Warm this up and it's just gonna slide right into that plastic. Let that cool the hair, pull it right out. So that's the first one done. And now we're gonna reload go with a second one right here where the ear cap's going to cover it we don't go too deep with these it does take a little bit of practice to make sure that you don't go all the way through into the interior um, in this case if we did go all the way through it's not the end of the world because you're not going to see the interior now on this piece because it's in such a weird spot I could probably drop one in there, but I don't want to. I actually want to come in on the inside just because of the amount of extra work that's gonna to be to sand that out and make sure that you can't be seen. And I doubt I can get it into the frame of the camera. So you're just gonna to have to trust me that I dropped this one in the interior. So that area is covered there. Now the crack that's slightly back here, I'm not too worried about because now that it's nice and rigidified, it's pretty well taken care of, I believe. So um, <clears throat> we're gonna move over. We're gonna trim these pieces that are hanging off away on the interior, exterior. I'm gonna use a metal file quickly to just knock them down and then put some filler in it and we're good to go. Okay, let's trim these metal pieces that are sticking out. Safety glasses are an absolute must on these because they do go flying everywhere and I have no desire to have one of these pieces stuck in my eye. So we're gonna trim them down as flush as we can. Interior as well. Chose the best safety glasses today 
because they are tinted so I can't see a thing on the interior that's all right okay now that we've got that part done there are some sharp edges here we want to get down with a rasp or a file so let me grab a file probably overkill on my file size here but All right, now that we have that file down to where we're not gonna cut ourselves on it, I'm actually gonna move over to a sander and we're just gonna hit that a little bit with a sander just to get it nice and flush. And that's the next step. And then we're gonna put some filler in there. Okay, so since this is one of my helmets that I'm gonna be refinishing for another project, I am gonna go one extra step on that and I'm simply gonna take my soldering iron. This is the soldering iron that I use specifically only for plastic. Um, I am going to take care of this seam a little better here and just come across it with the soldering iron. Make sure that that's nice and there, smoothed out a little bit. And that's all I'm going to do to that. I'm going to take my sander and just knock that down so that I can fill it with a little bit of Bondo. So. Quick, easy fix to that. Um, that crack does extend up into here, which if we look on that camera, it's probably gonna be pretty easy to get that filled in. If you're not proficient with Bondo, that's okay. You can use a couple other different mediums here on this. Uh, the Bondo Glaze and Spot Putty is a great one to use, as well as the just any wood filler for the most part. Um, what we're doing is we're just going to fill in these places where the, where the metal fasteners are in there. But again, since this is my going to be one of my helmets that I'm going to take to a convention and potentially wear myself, probably wear myself, I want to make sure that I don't have any problems with this. The last thing you want to do is get to a point where you get a project finished, something silly happens, you bump it on something and it just completely, just completely cracks over again after a paint job. There's nothing more sickening and heartbreaking than that. It's happened to me many times. All right, so I'm just gonna take an old credit card that I had lying around here. And since it's a small area, we don't need anything too big. We're just going to drop some Bondo in there. Less is more on this type of stuff. You don't want to have to sand a bunch away. Good there. Again, this part won't even be seen once the ear caps go on, but we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and fill it anyway. And then where the seam is here that I use the soldering iron on. We're just going to drop a little bit in there. I still have my final sanding to do on this project and everything, but it's uh, it's getting it's getting close enough that we'll go ahead and put this on. Then we'll do a final sanding with the bondo. You could skip the bondo if you're going to use wood filler or something like that. You could skip that filling part that I just did until after you've done your final sanding. Or second to final sanding but we'll go ahead and do it now Let's get some in that little crack there so that that doesn't come back to haunt us later get that filled in just a bit looks good uh, I will mention that on the interior side of the the fastener I did go in with a Dremel and a I did grind down that the the two posts that stick up from that uh, off camera couldn't get the camera in there well enough for you to see so I just ground it down so that it wasn't in the way or anything or not gonna poke me in the side of the head later so we're gonna let that Bondo cure and we'll see how it turned out all right guys so there you have it I have gone over and sanded the Bondo now that it's cured and those fasteners you can still see them a little bit obviously <clears throat> before I put any filler primer on them but that's it. We're fixed. We're, we're back to solid again. I'm not worried about it actually cracking anymore or coming apart. 
I'm not saying that this was the optimal solution on every single project. I do have projects that come off that uh, if they do, if something does get cracked, we, we obviously don't sell it on our Etsy store or anything like that. But in the case of this, once it came off, it was cracked. I've actually been waiting to uh, have kind of somewhat of a print fail so that I could get one of these helmets for myself to be able to sit down and do a custom job on it that I need it, that I need for future use. But uh, this, this gun, this plastic welder, I am going to throw a link in the description as well as where I found my fasteners. And actually, I think it comes with several different types of fasteners if you just buy the gun. It's under $25. I mean, this thing gets used at least, at least once or twice in a week on all kinds of different projects, whether it's joining two pieces of plastic together or whatever, but it does come in massive handy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, please, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section. You know, we answer, we answer all of them if we can. So we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.